Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the beautiful handmade paints crafted by Eliza Luz. He is releasing his first batch of paints today. How exciting is that? The paints came in this cute little metal tin with a handmade tag. Inside, we find a hand-painted chart and nicely wrapped pans with a hand-painted wrapper. I was sent the colors red oxide, gold ochre, cadmium yellow, manganese violet, beyond the sea, and cerulean blue. The pans are very nicely wrapped, in a paper and foil wrapper first, and then the label is a sticker that is on top of the wrapper. It's a bit hard to peel off the label, so make sure you write down the information before unwrapping the paints. The pans look really good. The paint is so smooth. They are also labeled and come with a magnet at the bottom. I prepared a chart to swatch them out. The black squares on my chart are made with black watercolor paper to see how opaque the paints are. The paints were super easy to be wet and laid down beautifully. They are vibrant and very smooth. I made a small triad mixing circle and then also mixed some more colors and they worked really well together. The cerulean blue is rather smooth, with a really light granulation. The most granulating color in this selection is manganese violet. All the other colors are quite smooth and finely mold. I proceeded to try the paints on a drawing. There was an issue and I lost the footage of the first pass of color on the drawing, but you'll see how I added more to it and was able to build color very efficiently. I'm using pre-cut Strathmore cotton paper for this one. I was able to layer color very easily and they came out so nice and strong. I love paints that pack a lot of color and I was very happy while painting with these. Eliza is a member of our Discord chat server and we chatted a bit about his paints. He told me that he started making his own watercolor paints three years ago after watching a review of handmade paints on YouTube. Back then, he only had Cotman paints, and felt that making his own paints would be a great way to get some professional quality supplies and have total control over what goes into the paints. He did a lot of research and started with the basics, ultramarine blue and Mars orange pigments. He says he fell in love with the paint making process almost immediately. He kept making paints on and off for three years and wanted to take this craft to the next level. So here he is, launching his paints today. I'm very excited and thankful to be a part of this. I also asked about the paints themselves. Eliza uses pigments, gum arabic, local honey, glycerin, and sometimes oxgall. He says it depends on the recipe and that some pigments don't get this added in. Everything is molded by hand, on a slab, with a molar. I can tell that a lot of work goes into these, from the handcrafted packaging to the careful pouring of the paint in the pans. I 
had a great time painting with these paints and I encourage you to check out the launch or the shop if you watch this later. Eliza's shop is named Scylla Paint Co. I'll have the link to it in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Yes.